The use of the drug in an Ampol provides precise dosage of the drug. Glass Ampols are a type of individual packaging for liquid pharmaceutical preparations, which are used for bottling and storing medicines in sterile condition, have an elongated thin neck and thin glass walls. I organized the process of purchasing the equipment for the line. I, as the chief designer of the company, was tasked to choose high quality equipment. The cost was not a determining factor here. The main thing is that the equipment must be fully automated, provide automatic control, produce not less than 7,000 vials per hour. For production, we decided to use two milliliters ampoules. I started searching for automatic equipment for filling glass ampoules with solution. The chief engineer of our enterprise advised us to turn to equipment manufacturers. They provide warranty service, drawings, instructions for use, carry out installation, and installation of manufactured equipment. I took his advice. I chose one company online in Italy, which produces pharmaceutical equipment, went to their website, and wrote a letter specifying the desired parameters and features of the machine, capacity of at least 7,000 ampoules per hour, glass ampoules dosage of 2 milliliters. I did not specify a particular machine, I wanted to see what they can offer me. A week later I got the answer, that they don't make such machines, but they could develop and produce them, if the customer wants, by the end of the next year. That was too long for us, so I decided to look for other equipment producers. I found a company online from China, that produces equipment for filling various tanks. I called them, and asked if they could supply such equipment with the necessary parameters. They answered that they had such a machine. The manager asked for my phone number, and said she would call me back in the evening, when she would check with her company engineer, about the possibility of automatic equipment. However, she did not call in the evening. I contacted them the next day. The manager said she had forwarded the request to the design department, and she would get back to me, when she got an answer. This seems strange to me, when do I wait for an answer? How long to wait for an answer? This was not a business-like approach to the customer at all. I refused to find equipment for bottling and sealing glass ampoules on my own. And then I remembered that at the Forum of Producers of Equipment for the Pharmaceutical Industry in Moscow, I met a specialist who was engaged in selection and supply of equipment for the production of medicines. I found his business card, and before contacting him I decided to check whether he really engaged in the supply of machines for the pharmaceutical industry. In order to do this I found his company's website, and carefully studied the information on it. I liked that the website was up to date, with video clips of the equipment, and many contacts for communication. I also noticed that the website had been around since 2003. The company had been on the equipment supply market for a long time, and that is a good reason to say that it was successful. I called the manager. He said he remembered me, and was happy to hear from me again. I told him that I was looking for automatic equipment, for bottling glass ampoules, and named the characteristics of the machine I wanted. He suggested a machine option that was popular with customers, and proven in production. I agreed to consider it. The manager emailed me the passport, the instructions for use of the equipment, a video of the machine. I could see, how glass ampoules were placed in the intake hopper, and then distributed, and conveyed to the burner area, where they were soldered with gas. The manager also suggested a turnkey delivery procedure. I liked the recommended variant of the equipment, and agreed it with the management. A week later we concluded a contract for delivery of automatic equipment for bottling, and sealing of glass ampoules. I gave the specialist our ampoules, medicine for testing. Thirty days after signing the contract the manager called me, and told me that the equipment is ready, and in a week it will be delivered and after seven days we received an automatic machine for filling and sealing glass ampoules. The adjuster assembled and adjusted the equipment and we were able to test run the machine. The equipment was made of high quality stainless steel. Dosing was carried out automatically by two milliliters of medicine into the ampoule, followed by sealing with gas. Dispensing is done from six dispensers. Special tongs remove the ends of sealed ampoules. Finished ampoules go to a collecting tray for further packaging. Control is simple and clear. The machine works smoothly, the management, including myself, were satisfied with the proposed version of the equipment for filling and sealing of glass ampoules. In the future, I plan to ask the manager of this company to buy a machine for washing and drying ampoules. In selecting any purchase, expert advice is essential. The project is sure to be successful if this advice was received from a professional.